did not come back. And a lot of times the false positive stick figures will be really weird looking, really long or really unusual. Mm. Um, so it's fun when you get one that looks normal. Where did my little... Got a pink one. So the fun thing would be to let folks see. Yeah. There's a little bit of back room there. Um, you don't necessarily we don't need to go to a lot to of To a places. weird spot. Uh, see how it just mapped that box right there for yeah. a second? Yeah. See that? So what is oh, wow. the line for? So it's trying to make sense out of what's uh, there. And so... There's a dead body there. Um, well, this is the corner it mapped earlier, but it mapped up higher, so... Does the, does the uh, I'm a little bit colorblind, is that blue, is that, is that... That's the stick figure screen, and we can change it to infrared. Okay. The color, the colors don't really matter so much as just trying to figure out. So see how that changed quite drastically? Well, either it's mapping something in the environment to try to make sense out of it, or there's something there. It, it, I'm going to go it, on the side that it's it mapping. Anything. I can tell it's yeah. it's pretty if it moves, or if it responds intelligently, then we can assume that it's not just trying to make sense out of something in the wall. <laughs> there's a lot of, oh, I'm sorry, there's a lot of EMF in here. Well, it's, 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 just so you guys know. Right. <laughs> but there's a lot. There's above the bottom below you. Yeah, I've never seen it do this. So it's still mapping the corner. So what I would do is say, if, is there someone standing in the corner? Can you move out of the corner? Go after Charles. Yeah. And so nothing's happening, so I would say that's just a false positive. I don't think that's anything there. So it's not a dead body in the wall? No, it's not. But you would generally, uh, with more time, probably combine this with, uh, with the recorder, with uh, some of the other tools in your toolbox, yeah. right? I would usually use the EMF. Um, but the EMF is really triggered yeah, in here. Yeah, yeah. So, and you're, uh, but this is another reason is why too. we turn off the lights and the power uh, when we oh, go somewhere. so you shut everything down. Yeah, I mean, I'm not going to shut the breaker, but yeah, yeah, usually yeah. just cutting the lights will help reduce the EMF unless it's like leaking from gotcha. somewhere. Yeah, uh, it's certainly It around. definitely thinks that there's something there. It doesn't, again, it does not mean that there is. Yeah, it's the, it's the broom. Yeah. If you want to bring the cat ball, if you want to bring the cat ball over, you can put it here. So this is one Which way. Which one, the cat ball? Yep, because the cat ball won't be affected by oh, any of the right. other. Oh yeah, you got the big air conditioner right there too. Where would you like it? Just stick in the corner. But I moved the broom, and we don't have a stick figure anymore. But it's not even sticking enough. There we go. I'm pretty sure there's. Pretty sure there's a I'm pretty sure there's a slope because this is an old. I should bring the leveler. I have X Y leveler. See if there's a I actually part. have. Um, I have something in my, my purse if I wanted to dig it out. I could. So we'll let the cat ball stop because look at this. So flashlights are like a mag light where you have to turn the end to make it work. Those are a really fun tool to use. Can somebody, if there's somebody with us, can you um, touch our little ball that we just put on the floor in the doorway? If you touch it, it'll light up and that'll let us know you're here. Yeah, 
fourth really uneven. So let's change this to we can go to the red. What is the pink back there? I'm not sure. It's I don't really know exactly how it maps the different colors, mm -hmm. um, but it's it might have to do with depth. Oh, okay. So I'm still kind of learning back there, back there. how the software works. Um, the software is meant to work for this specific purpose. So see. So now it's trying to map top. So it mapped him. And it's really cool when you see it like this. <laughs> it's very bizarre. It's <laughs> Man, Todd, you are like, your legs are going crazy. I've never seen you move so much. Yeah, it's interesting. So if a stick figure were to pop up right now, because we can see, you can see the little glowing dots. Mm -hmm. That's the connect sensors. Oh, reaching out. Yeah, they're infrared, so we can't see them with our eyes, you which is super cool. That, you might if you put on a night vision yeah, or IR. Yeah. Really but it will IR also eyes. probably, they'll probably oh. fight. No, but if you, were, if you were to point the camera at the front of that, you would see the, the uh, yeah. infrared lights. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so the the, the best thing is you can carry this around and, and you can walk, but like you guys saw, it t kind of takes a second to map something, even mm -hmm. when you know there's someone there. So the best thing, okay, oh. did you see how that yeah. just appeared out of nowhere? Yeah. So you, you caught on camera that yeah. we have been staring at this corner for quite some time. Right. And now it's mapping something that it was not mapping previously. It looks so, like maybe right on that ladder or something. Someone trying to climb the ladder. Well, then you ask a question, right? Yeah, normally we would ask yes or no questions with the it's EMF. Dancing. But if we can potentially use the cat ball. Do you want to grab the cat ball? What is it? Um, this would also be a good time to break out the spirit box and or ask questions. Is it unusual for it to be moving so much if it's no, just a it's, stationary it's, object? Where do you want me to put it? I mean, well, you saw when we put it over there right. and it mapped the big scrawling oh, thing, right. it didn't move at all. Yeah. If you want to put it, yep, Emma's got it. So see how it's mapping? Now it's gone because it's mapping her. So it could be a false positive. Um, but we, consider that we had been mapping that for quite several minutes right. and it, it was it wasn't grabbing onto that ladder before so the fact that it just appeared um so we'll just do this so we just put a ball in the corner and that ball will light up if you touch it you might have to touch it kind of hard but we would love to know that someone's here with us. So if it's possible for you to tap or push the ball, we would love to see it light up. Or maybe you could come join us. again to see if I can recreate the circumstances where we got that stick figure I think I was roughly here right and it is not generating it's not mapping the ladder right. so well, I think y'all have a ghost just kidding <laughs> well, I mean, it's not that easy for me but it is interesting because now we've attempted to debunk it we've 
repositioned ourselves, we've moved, um, and we can't get it to recreate the same instance. So, so not conclusive. Yeah, I would I would say it was non conclusive as evidence by itself. Mm -hmm. So if we were to get something else. So I think what we could do is try doing an E V P session. Which uh, which is with a digital recorder. Oh, okay. So that thing is virtually useless here because there is a lot of EMF in this building. So I'm gonna keep it on the corner. We have a camera on the corner by the fridge, refrigerator. So if you come back, we can see you. The hard part about this is not feeling stupid when you're talking to the air. Well, it's just well, like I mean, fishing. Yeah. Well, most of the time, you're standing on the bank. All, all that is is speaking out loud, and that's there's nothing right. stupid about that. Right. It's mostly yeah. just sitting and drinking beer. I do that all the time, and I'm ADHD. I talk to myself all the time because who else is gonna listen? Yeah, but you're talking to yourself. Oh, it's oh, it's Carl. <laughs> I'm like, it's moving something. Oh wait, no, no, it's not you. Do you have another cat ball? Did Do you have cat another? Ball go off? No, we want another one. Oh. Okay, is that? Yeah. That thing is still well. It's calmed down a little bit. You took it over there, and it was pretty excited, right? Look at look at that. What is it mapping? Oh hi. Welcome back. Can you um? Can you touch our little ball? Where'd you put the ball? The air water. Oh, it's on the oh, ladder. Oh, it keeps going. That this is creepy. Oh. Oh, uh, just a bathroom this is me. back there. That's the I know, but I, it feels creepy yeah. to me. <laughs> <That's a super laughs> weird we were talking creepy. about feelings. <laughs> I'm not all still going there. Some feelings. Um, okay, we have a. Is that in front of the camera though? So let's move it over this way just a little bit. For those watching, we are we are doing an active investigation inside the building here in Rankin, Washington. Oh, no, no, no. there's the floor. Yeah, we gotta get a slow bell. <laughs> I have a little thing in my, I have a little dish that is perfect for that. So we're gonna try, so with a, we're gonna try an EV, EVP session. So um, we wanna try not to move around too much so that we minimize background noise and then hopefully we'll pick up the cars. I'm gonna actually come over here so I get like a heavy feeling. I feel a little anxious. Yeah, that, that room kind of weirds me out too. Yeah, maybe we should point the SLS this way, but. Do you want me to try point? No. Nope. You're in the middle? Nope. No, because this is this is a hot spot. So. And the sensor is just picking up you right now. Yeah, it should, but it won't matter. It'll pick up anyone. So it even if it's picking up me, if something else were to stand next to me, it'll, it'll pick them up too. Okay, so. I just heard your neighbors, I hope. There's apartments above us? Yes. Okay, because I hear, I hear foots, I hear movement. <laughs> okay, so we're doing an EVP session and I guess we'll start. 10.30. Is there any, huh? 10.30. Is there anyone here with us? If there's anyone in this space with us, can you tell us your name? Did you live here? Did you live in this building? Maybe you worked here at one point? Can you tell us how old you are? we can play it back and see if we hear anything but again this would be better process through like a computer where we can see the wave files figure out how to play it okay, I hear, I hear movement. okay. so we're doing an EVP 
session. And I guess we will start. Is there any, huh? Is there anyone here with us? If there's anyone in this space with us, can you tell us your name? investigation we would take our time sure yeah yeah, yeah. so you know just because but like i said a, ma a majority of it is boring and nothing happens so you find other ways to entertain yourself um but when you see like the tv shows or the youtubers or whatever they're spending six or eight hours at a place and then editing and then editing it yeah. to where they have the action and the good stuff. Yeah. Um, so this gives you an idea of what it's like. But yeah, no, this is the helpful. point is just because, I mean, I, I feel like that is really interesting to me. Yeah. That we yeah. caught two stick figures. And if it was continually mapping in the same spot, then I would say that that's nothing. That's a false positive. But the fact that it's not. <laughs> it moved, yeah. Yeah. So I would say the last thing we could do for, for Fonzies um, is to do an Estes session. So does anybody feel like being blindfolded and connected? Volunteers? <laughs> we got a volunteer. All right. I can take my glasses off that effectively makes me blind. Do right? your do your headphones you don't actually have to be blindfolded. It really what it helps is the sensory deprivation helps you to hear better. Right? They say yeah. when you lose one sense it makes your other senses stronger. Do you guys have any headphones that would plug into a is normal yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's just a normal wherever yeah. it is, headphone jack. Because I know some of the recording equipment ones are bigger. Are you yes. Yes. DM. It's so weird though, because it felt like when we went over here and then came back is when the stick figure started showing back up again. And we do know that Jeff spends the night down here sometimes in his little tent. So. Does he hear anything? <laughs> uh, he has this, but we've never had this conversation about it, too. So it's not, you know, something you're like, hey, Jeff, when you're down here, do you ever, you know, but I'm going to ask him next time. I see him. He probably won't want to know. Well, he's out here, right? He's out there, though. Yeah. He's not in here. I wouldn't think so. All right. The Facebook page. Okay, so I can't hear you guys very well. Huh? Yeah, exactly. So I was just testing it. You might be able to hear that we're talking, but you shouldn't be able to hear what we're saying. Now, when you're listening to this, don't overthink it. Okay. So you're going to want to try to, you, you know you're hearing words and you're going to want to try to make them words. Just repeat out loud anything you hear that you think is a word. Okay. And don't be worried about it. Don't overthink it. Just say it. Word. Okay. No matter how ridiculous it okay. sounds, yeah. 
Even laughter, like if you laugh. Yeah, laughter, numbers. So make sure your ears are fully covered. Okay. Can you hear me? Can you hear what I'm saying? Okay, so we're doing an ESTA session, meaning he can't hear the questions I'm asking. He can only hear the radio. So if there's anybody here in the space with us, if you talk to the radio my friend is holding, we can hear words that you're saying. We would love to know what your name is. We're nice. Is it mapping? Legit, this just sounds like, remember when the dinosaurs changing channels on Toy Story? That's what it sounds like. Bop, 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 bop. Can you tell us your name? So it's not mapping him. You don't have enough of it. No. Sense? It's mapping. Or sense? There you go. Can you tell us your name? We would really like to know your name. Yeah, it's definitely. Like? Do you like having company? Good. You think it's good to have someone who can talk to you? Almost. How long have you been here? So it's mapping someone right next to him. I heard a growl. Okay. Are you upset that you're stuck in this building? This, it looks like it's touching you. Eight. Eight years? Have you been stuck here for Four. eight? Four. Are you touching my friend? Eve? Are you reaching for the radio? Real? Can you tell us your name? Do you see that? You might have to tell him more than once. Can you have him back up a little bit to get the full field in there? Or can you back up to get the full field in there? Because right now we only have half of our it's not here. It's not mapping him. No, I know. So it doesn't matter. <laughs> if you pull it back, though, will it? You see it's a lot of static in music. Can you try telling my friend your name? Try changing angles. I come over here a bit here. Reserve. Are you a little shy? Do you think my friend is pretty? Practice? We would really like to hear your name. So we know who we're talking to. Try the angles of the room, that angle, and then this angle. Try over here. And then try closer over there to see if you can get to map the full body of our questionnaire. 
I think it said thanks. Difficult? We would still really like to know your name. So you mentioned four and eight. Say years or decades. Go ahead, you can ask. Please. Oh, look at that. How long have you been here? Four years or four decades? How old are you? Do you see it? Was four your years of age or eight? What do you suppose that is? Tay. Is your name Tay? Or Taya? And now it's gone. I didn't know. How old are you? Chris? Is your name Chris? Kirk. Okay, that's okay. Are you are you a child? Not. You're not a child? Are you a teenager? What is your age? Chris? Chris, how old are you? He might have been dull. Please? Were you part of staff here at one point? Did you work here? Can you stand next to our friend? Are you tired? Do you want to go now? Do you want us to go now? W? Is that W? W? I don't know. I'm W. Mm. W? Yeah, we're just calling each other names. No, we can't make that up. Okay. Does that make sense? So usually after we go a little while with no responses, then we'll take a break. Just feel like it's pushing too hard or something. Well, the theory is that it takes energy to do this. Oh. Uh, so, you know, energy might get drained. And for that reason, we always bring extra batteries whenever we go anywhere yeah, and make sure sense. everything's fully yeah. charged. Uh, so I think, I think we're probably done. And I didn't write anything down because... Well, he was like... It. Yeah. Well, yeah. typically we'll bring a notepad and we'll just write words down. Okay, so I think I think yeah. we're good. His ears would probably appreciate. Right? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's really hard to listen. It's really hard to listen. The mapping's still there. I mean, it's. All right, you're good. How many of us do you see? So, were you able to uh, hear us at all? I heard you didn't talk, but I couldn't tell what you were being. Yeah, I couldn't determine. Nor does anyone want to try it just to see what it's like? Yeah, why well, don't you guys try it? You really should. It's fun. I, I think the. <laughs> Go ahead, Mike. There's a lot of things that were said that. Come on, Mike. Are you scared? No. Okay. All the other kids are doing it. Yeah, we're the cool kids, man. 
My head falls might be a little, little sweaty though. Peer pressure, peer pressure. Peer pressure. So let's calibrate it really quick. So can you take a look? There you go. Do you see me? Um, can we have another person to walk out here, stand next to me? Here we go. What do you see? Do you see two? Okay, I think it's mapping you. Now it's mapping both of you. Okay, so. And whatever was there next to Todd earlier is no longer there. Okay. There was something next to me? Oh, yeah, I was touching you. Uh, it could have been because I'm live streaming. It could have been that it ha was having trouble mapping him. Oh, now it's next to oh. you. Is there something next to me? Yeah, it, it looks to be about. Small, small. Left. Yeah, there, so there was definitely a small like, one next to you. This, this yeah. Side, yeah, there was definitely a small one next to you. Look so at that. You'll have to watch back the video, but you you did actually it's, give us. It looks like it's sitting down. I don't know. It looks like it could be an animal. Maybe. Yeah, okay. it was really small. We thought maybe it was a child. Okay. Pretty, pretty crazy, isn't yeah, yeah, it? It's pretty cool. <laughs> did you hear any words? You hear a lot of words. Uh, I, uh, nothing nothing intelligible. Yeah. Is it still there? It is. Yeah, yeah. it looks like it's trying to touch you. Mm. Okay, I'm gonna put this, out with this you. on. And um, maybe you want to you want to do it. Maybe you could do like, um, how would you interact with an animal or not? Is this the side that it's on it's where better. I'm reaching out? It's is that the side? Am I yeah. Right? Okay. Yeah. It's, it's it seems like it's stretching it's occasionally. It's reaching out. It's trying to. It's trying to like. Can it, you touch my hand? It's okay for you to touch my hand. It's trying. Fortune. And also, my lady friend can hear you if you talk to her. Oh, I just got a weird. <laughs> See, that's the anecdotal stuff. <laughs> Uh, from your sense of thing, it looks like it's trying to touch you. It's probably just my brain, but... I mean, it's reaching out several times. Can you tell us your name? Can you say your name to my, to my lady friend, Emma? Speaks. I heard a buzzing. You yeah, a lot of static. Is your name Chris? Can you tell her the name Chris? That was the name I heard three times. Mm -hmm. Or at least two times. You sold it? That's sweet. We would still really like Fire. to know how old you are. If there's someone in here with us, can you tell us how old you are? Looks like you've fallen and I can't get up. Sorry. Where did, what happened to the cat ball? Nick. Uh -huh. Nick, is your name Nick? I'm probably gonna make it to the... the... Oh, you just walked through and it disappeared. Yep. There's a guitar in here. Yeah, it's Mike's. Sit. I have a ball. It lights up. Three, two, eight. When it stops if flushing, you, if you touch it, if you step on it, human, that will let us know that you're with us. Not. You're not human. You're trying to scare us. Can you step on the ball that I just put on the floor? Step on it as hard as you can. It's Careful. Is it mapping anything? Mom? Now don't get insulting. It's not, been, not mapping anything but Professor. you right now. That's fine. Come closer? Come closer to what? Can you come stand by me again? 
eight. What's the second time we got eight? Is that their age, you wonder? I don't wonder because when we ask for an age, that's not when we get a number. Oh, okay. So, I want it to happen when we ask. Today. Can you step on my ball, please? If you step on it, it'll light up. Mike. Didn't you guys say there's there. someone named Mike? Oh. This. Do you know Mike? It's too young. Is it a baby? Is there a baby in here? Can you step on my ball? Trust. Do you want me to go on? I don't know if that made any sense. Mm -hmm. Nothing's showing up uh, mapping wise except for you. So. Okay. So it's probably probably done. So we went to bed? We went to bed. Oh, we went to we bed. Should. So really quickly, I'm going to just take it back there. Yeah. Where I'm just It's some just a uh, bathroom on the left and then the downstairs door Oops. off to the right. So it's not so a huge So if space. you look right here, you can tell it's mapping the door frame. Oh, okay. But what is freaking me out about it, because I actually do feel a little freaked out, is how human-like it looks. <laughs> so earlier when it was mapping that corner, remember it was right. really weird and stretched yeah. out, but that looks like how it looks when it was mapping one of us. Yeah. But oh, then as I move it, you can see how it gets funky. Um, I'm going to try to get it to map Emma. Yeah, it's not mapping Emma. Now it's mapping you. Okay, and it jumped off the door frame. So, it's the focus. I'm pretty sure it was just the door frame, but it, it freaked me out just a little bit. <laughs> Is there anybody back here in the bathroom? There's more back there. You know what, your poor plant? I was waiting for that. I was waiting for her to chastise somebody about the plant. <laughs> oh, Mike waters it every week, but... Uh, I knew she would. She is a gardener. The so there's nothing coming up on the, on the SOS. It's not mapping anything. Nothing back in the fantastical nope. creepy place. Yeah, so that's where I wanted to get us, is through that door right there. Oh my I gosh, that's that the basement down. door? I think so. And it's so creepy but, when it's blocked up. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Okay, so it's mapping both of you. This is your last chance. We're about to leave. Your last chance to let us know you're here. If you come and stand right in front of me, or stand by this black sink, I can pick you up on my camera.
think we're done. All right.